on the railroad track. Somebody abandoned it as a kitten, and uh, he's taking care of it. He, he's he's uh, compassionate. You know what I mean? He's developing care. Tell me about your well, it was at a railroad track. It was actually near a crossroad area yeah. next to a railroad track, yeah. blocks away. Yeah. And were you just out walking and you saw it or yeah. driving? Or? Well, I was out walking on my own, having a breath of fresh air, this or that, because of the time when you're in home 24-7 on your computer, it sometimes gets you all over your mind sometimes. and. And there's times you have haters online, you start making comment threats or this or that or hateful stuff, and it sometimes gets to your head. So you walk outside, take a breath of fresh air, think about what you're going to do next time or this or that and somewhat. And I was just minding my own business, and I, um, I walked through one side next to a crossroad of where I went through, and I, I thought at first I saw um, this animal. And to be honest, I actually thought it was actually one of those creatures um, people in Maine call it a, a mutant canine, which is actually this, this supernatural. Uh, it's 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 not a it's it's like a dog creature type thing, yeah. wolf or something. Like lynx, right? Maybe, but it's a lot dangerous. So that's why I thought at first. But when I got close, it was actually like a four week old kitten. I even recorded it um, on YouTube a bunch of times, and even found where it was. He wasn't dirty. He was actually still clean and he couldn't yeah. yeah. And what is it a boy or a girl? It was a boy. And are you mm-hmm. still taking care of him? Yeah. What's his name? Uh Lucky Day. Lucky Day. <laughs> that's great. You know what that's actually funny because I have a white German shepherd and his name is it's a Norwegian word. It's Higgly Dog and it means pleasant day. Oh yeah. in Norwegian. That's yeah, that's what the dog can but, be. Hmm. It, it, his focus is when he picture he's got women now on the on this internet because they like it, you know, because it shows oh, that they he, like the kitten. He's a compassionate, you know. Yeah. It means he, he's a compassionate person. So. So do you take care of? So does Lucky? You can call him Lucky Day or Lucky or. Well, we shorten it to Lucky. Lucky. Is his first name. Yeah. That's a good and name. yeah, I we. Been getting successful views out of it, so it's been great for the last month. So you've been posting stuff about the kitten. Yeah, Aww. yeah. That's great. Good. That's great. And is he turning out to be a good cat? Like pretty energetic as a kitten. He's a really energetic kitten. He he's grown <laughs> big, but the thing is, we we have problem because we 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 don't know how to claw his nails or something, and oh, he's been giving us God. problems with these right. hands and scratches, yeah. this or that. Me too. So well, pretty sure. much, so, so we have to wear pants and shoes while we're in the house. You could probably get like a scratching post for him. Well, we're gonna get yeah. his, his nails cut. Well, say the dog shelter, the shelter in Auburn, and there's a place where they 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 cut nails for animals. Oh, good. Near, have, uh, have you gotten shot? Near Walmart. And all that stuff? Right. Not yet. You, you should, should huh? probably get. Well, yeah, sure. they usually you, have, you need to get rabies and stuff. Actually, yeah. so I would definitely do that. Um, probably take so it, that. It's a new thing for us. Yeah, that's great. And me, I'm his toy. He, he plays with me, but he's the boss because the cat knows that he found him, and he's he's very attached to Jason. Jason calls his name, bang, he turns around. Aww, that's great. But, but I'm his toy. That's wonderful. He plays with my, my foot. I play with a, you know, I like, I play with him. And you know what? It's good for my arthritis. Oh, to move around like that. Because I can walk better. Good. Because he's around. This is a therapy cat. It is. Yeah. I'm a big fan of therapy. I know, but him is a different kind of therapy. Me, it's. Physical therapy. Yeah. Physical therapy. I didn't know because I'm, I'm so busy moving my feet. He plays, he jumps up my oh, leg. That's really fun. You know, and yeah, uh, they say movement is really good for arthritis. Yeah. That's really cool. That's so really cool. <laughs> he plays, that. I play them. That's so much. Yeah, I have a few kids that I know and young adults um, who have cats and they are really into their cats. I mean, cats are, cats are huge. And some um, people have special. Kids are into, uh, it does something with their mind. They, yep. they play with them, and yep. it's good. To, uh, my, ther- my therapy uh, person, 
you know, he has dogs. He has two that are, his kids are severely uh, special, you know. Mm. But the, the dog, they, they love the dog. They want the little yeah. puppies. Yeah, no, it's huge. So does the cat help your like, anxiety level or something if you feel frustrated or anything? Is it calming? Or? Not really. When he keeps trying to jump on our bed or trying to, like I said, he always likes to bite our hand a lot. <laughs> so he's not calming. <laughs> <laughs> Is he fun? Sometimes when we play toys with him. Fun but not calming. <laughs> but he doesn't bite high. With me, I don't know. He's very. He knows. He doesn't. He doesn't want to hurt me. But to hit me in the butt. He doesn't. He's a kid. He's very. He jumps and all, and he meow meow and yeah. talks when he's hungry and he talks. When he wants something. He wants your attention. He comes after his paw, he goes like that, hits oh. you. No, but not happy. He wants attention. Yeah. So, what else is going on with you since I saw you in the summer? What have you been up to the last few months? Well, be- well, well, before fall came and before we met our cat, because it was the second week of October when we when I found him, uh, like I said before, we're from August to September, things became a lot different before meeting our cat. Because it became more of a, um, almost like a suicidal kamikaze type plan going on from everything else, trying to find support or try to find help or even the editors or even anyone else to mm-hmm. come around, make finding a web, web page or something. And it was really tough because I'm always the type of person, and I, I've always had this type of stuff, even in college, that if I don't get what I want, well, forget because... I'm not going to help out if, because even just because we're going to argue this year, because I'm always the type of person that I get what I want. We, we divide everything equally. So if I have someone on the internet arguing with me or something like that, and if we had to apologize and I, I'll apologize back. But if I actually say to him next, Hey, I'm sorry, but one more other thing, can you help me with my content? If he doesn't answer back, there, that's not an apology. That's just that's just making things. I'm I'm that type of person that I do not I do not leave without saying that I do not I don't I don't I don't apologize to someone and then that person's going to ignore me even if he apologizes back because mm-hmm. I'm that type of person that's trying to make it to the big leagues. Mm-hmm. So just because if you're in college and if I was actually in that situation where I'm just trying to find a tutor or find some type of person to help me out with my um, yeah. work or math or any other work type page. of uh, yeah. stuff that's well, like different type of stuff in college. Hey, if, if, if we're going to settle things here, you better find an editor or find someone else that can help me with my content. But if, if, if you're just going to ignore me and actually say that we're just going to forget about us argument and everything else. No, because and I'm not, I'm it? not going to stop until I get what I want. Because if, if I was wrong, I'm not enough to tell that person he's wrong, okay. even if we had to fight. Okay. If we had to argue and like if my father and I had problems in public and we almost had an argument with someone, get, keep that in mind. If that guy has a true neutral face facial expression, I'm not going to enjoy having someone to argue with someone because we've argued with enough people in public already that always have that true neutral facial mm-hmm. It's not like when I see all those videos on YouTube, you have people arguing that I'm going to call the police and they're going to have that facial go ahead. Mm-hmm. That's almost so, that's almost going to be making that person rip your eye out. What were you arguing? I'm so, that type of person that doesn't like that stuff. No, I can understand that. Are there particular people online that you were arguing with that you about like not helping you or something? It's happened a lot. Mm-hmm. It, it happens on videos. It happens around. And even when I try to support people to get them – to where they need to go, even if they don't care as much. If there's a person that always that has like maybe 50 or 60 or several 70,000 subscribers and he's trying to get to a hundred and I'm trying to help him out, but he thinks I'm being mean to him just because I'm spamming too much on his channel supporting him. That just makes it really bad. Like why is someone arguing with me if I'm trying to help you get to a hundred thousand subscribers or people are just saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. If I make a comment on a video on YouTube, and I say something back and someone says, you're the one that's out of your mind. Right. That just makes no sense because you don't know everything that I know. Mm-hmm. 
So I always take those things seriously. Yeah, he, he I do it in public and I do it online. He meets a lot of Yusuf is uh, uh, not educated, uh, very dumb, you know? So have you been in situations where you've been concerned for your safety? Like, I under, other than David, like people that have been threatening you or anything? Or it's just been more arguing online? It, it's 50-50. So you have had some concerns about safety from online people? I always had sa concerned safeties from everywhere, from public to online, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And any threats? Did anyone know where you lived or anything like that or was, like, trying to get you or anything? You Not know? really, but okay. I always try to protect myself as much. Okay. And how about with your brother? How are things going with him? We don't know much about him ever since he left our house during May. He went to so we don't know where he is. Uh, Pellbrook, uh, 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 psychiatric. I don't know where it is. Not, not, not here. It's one, the other one, Pell, Spellbrook, Pellbrook. I think it's on the on the east coast. In Portland or somewhere else? I think it's in Maine, but so right right near New Hampshire, Hampstead, New Hampshire. There's a okay. there's a place to help people. Psychiatric. Mm -hmm. David, he had a psych. When he, when I told you things he was doing. Yeah. So has he been in a psychiatric hospital this fall? Yeah. Since the he's been. He was there for about oh six months. Okay. And uh, it's good because he's with his. He's living with his fraternity brother in Bangor. Okay. And but we went to court. I, the judge. He thought it was. You know, he thought he smarted me. You know, I never thought I was, he treated me like, uh, I know everything, you know nothing. And right. I, I never, I never, I never treated my father, like my parents never, right. you would, I would never do that. But okay. that's, that's what he did. And now he's with his fraternity brother, the little brother in Bangor, mm -hmm. but he went to Toronto also. Mm -hmm. And he went to a school of film and went Juliet one year. So he's very intelligent, mm -hmm. but he lost it. So can you tell me, can you fill me in just on what happened since our last visit, which was in July? Because I know all the rest of it. Okay, sorry. But anyway, That's okay. So, I, always go, so, I know you go back a lot, and I always get so, like, I want to focus on what happened just in the last few months. Lady, you, 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 you refer, I know what you did, but uh, you talked to her. She worked for a Cetus Plus. Lena, what her name, and she... She faced David right in his face. This was before our last visit, Wait, a while ago. When no, this was, was after. This mm -hmm. was since July, oh, since yeah. the summer. So who is this person? Uh, it was uh, a fraternity brothers in uh, near Ono and Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So he lives there. Mm -hmm. And but we live in a very, even the pastor, our pastor, he doesn't say, his mother, is evil. Mm -hmm. She came once. No, I know, but I want to know just what. So, did have you talked to her since the summer? Not so much. The judge, the judge in Lewiston said, "I'll take care." He said, four years, David can't come within a half a mile of the house. If he does, he goes to jail." Okay. So I'm gonna. So yeah. So tell me your perspective. Yeah. So since July, have you seen David? Uh, no. I think you guys, you and guys reached out only... to me at one point. In September, you ran into him in Walmart at some point, right? Really? He, was, he was never there in Walmart. Okay, all right. No, that was, that was uh, Cassandra and oh, okay. uh, Travis That's at right. the time she's when they were there. She's dangerous. Yeah, I, yeah. She threatened yeah. him. We've only met out her a couple times. One time she tried to come to our house, and which I had all on video and such. And another time when we were in Walmart during the September yeah, moment. September. She which got David going. She's the one that, that I have it all on video. She, mostly. she affected David. She's a sister, right? Or something. She's a stepsister. Step She's not the mother. The mother is her mother. Yeah. She got pregnant in high school. She was yeah. eighteen. So probably have to. Yeah. And uh, I always. Her father lives in Nashua, uh, New Hampshire, somewhere. But, but mostly, yeah. And he he threw her out. He, he, he's, he's, she's too vicious. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's but, too back. Uh, she's very. So dangerous. okay. So then. But, so you saw her. But mostly we haven't seen her yeah. since. Okay. But 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 ever since yeah. then, mostly we don't know. She, we heard that she was trying to move to Florida or something. But yeah, that's she, all I know. But still, okay. like I said before, it is hard to live in a family life like that. Actually, 
Yeah. And that's what causes a lot of things it's about very, the internet. It's very confusing. It's very confusing. So I always try to show people online is I'm not a bad guy. It's just right. I'm living with a retarded family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's uh, why I do that. Uh, Cheryl. I upload videos to make Cheryl's things real right. for people she's, so people will she, know who I am. Actually, she got married. She was supposed right. to marry me. I proposed to her two years ago. Uh, okay, wait. Well, I anyway. want to focus. I want to focus on what's happening now in Jason. Okay. I know I wasn't talking much. Well, what are you saying? She came to my house one time, yes, and she and uh, she, she's afraid of Jason. And she said that her parents told her try to kill him it was a baby. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's go back. So we have August, September, and October, basically right. three months since I saw you last. So you've been doing a lot of video stuff, posting stuff. You have the the cat, which is phenomenal. Yeah, it helped a lot. Yeah, no, I think that's great. What it, else? It's like medicine. Yeah, I think so. Me, yeah. me it helps me. Yep, yep, I agree. I, I love the cat. I just like, yeah. he's, he's crazy. He, he does somersaults and he, no, he's a funny cat. And I think that was just so, maybe it was divine intervention that you ran into the cat. God it was. Cat in your oh, way. yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, definitely. So you have a cat. You're doing stuff online. You have your you got your license renewed or whatever. The oh, it's tooth. Yeah. tooth hurts. Your tooth hurts. No, uh, it's, it's, I wouldn't say tooth, but somewhere the cavity somewhere on my jaw right over here on the top. So oh. the bottom here, like mm -hmm. something. It's like every time I try to open my mouth wide, it sometimes... So we're trying right. to find a dentist a who dentist. takes. Uh, it, it, well, we I did get my wisdom teeth out like years and years oh, ago, okay. so it has to be something else. Okay. But, and have you seen Doctor Bolilla? Obila, Obila, whatever your regular doctor. Hmm. Okay. We, we need one. You have one. We do. Yep. It's Doctor Olilla. Huh. That was Interesting. Me. And I contacted him at one point, but he. Uh, He's gone, right? I can give you his phone number. Family it's, practice. It's been a long, long, he long, long, long time, actually. But there should be someone else. Right, right. Practice. It's been a long, long, long time, so yeah. at least we can barely remember. I will put his phone number into your paperwork so that you can call <clears> that <throat> office. Um, but, he's a, yeah. Yeah, he's a good he's a guy. Really good. He's really good. And have you had, um, I when we last met, I gave you some names for case management groups like Independence Association and Group Mainstream, and I don't know if you had a chance to call any of them. Uh, I left messages, but because of COVID, COVID really messed up everybody. Well, this was after COVID. So this it? was just in in July of this year, and I think COVID was mostly like most people had them. So I don't know if you guys had a chance to call them. So I'll give you the numbers okay. again. Just so that, and so I'm giving you your PCP, General Family Me Medicine. Yep. It was uh, L O L L I L A. Um, <coughs> and this is his phone there, number. There was one in Farmington. Yep. That we, that we call, remember? Um, vaguely, you were calling for case management. Right. And then the, my other question in terms of dentists, have you tried to call particular dentists? Do you know? We don't know who to call in, uh, in Lewis and Auburn. There's, I'm going to look. There's, a two, there's quite a few. Yeah. We haven't yeah. had a chance to. I'm going to give you the different numbers for different case management places again. Yeah. Um, it's, that was what took me a while to see you guys today. I was trying to help someone else with that. It's a common thing. Uh -huh. um, I, I get prank calls all day. I get about 40 calls a day. From uh, Europe, from uh, China in Europe, you know. Oh my goodness. Trying to, see. they want help this insurance. Yeah. Right now, I have main care, I have dual main care and uh, in Portland. Here. What's it called? Uh, Anthem. Uh, I got well, Anthem main care. Dual who care? But Jason, he has, he doesn't have anything. He does, but we don't know where to go. Um, you should have main care, I think. I, think I have dual with Anthem. But I think Jason should have main care. Yeah. Um, so, um, Jason, besides, so you've been doing your online stuff. You've got the cat. Any other, what else have you been up to? Do you guys go out, travel at all? This is a question for Jason. Oh, sorry. He wants to go skiing this winter. Oh, well, sorry. that too. 
m- most of the way I was, I'm just not much. Whatever. I'm 25 years old, and it is hard. And and like I said before, like, like have you ever heard any other like um those um. Well, let me give you an idea. Have you ever heard of those um, like convention type things, like conventions around the world that used to, you know, like traveling like places and such? Because there's a bunch of them around the world actually, and there's different types, wow. right. like culture types or gaming conventions yeah, or something. Yeah, like there's Comic Con and stuff like that. Comic Con, gaming like Con, yeah. Twitch Con, yeah, yeah, cosplay, anime, yeah, yeah you know exactly. that. I, and every time I watch videos on YouTube, people going there, it's like, man, I really want to go there. Mm-hmm get the attention just to show people that I'm not sitting at home 24 seven doing mm-hmm. that. And, yeah. and I want to show people I can travel doing this. And if yeah. I can, and if I can go to a NASCAR race and start mm-hmm. racing, I can show people that. And because I want to prove that I'm not an internet person, but a person is an athlete, mm-hmm. but I want to show people. And like I said before, I want to collab and try collab with new people that I want to know and show the popular people like and like I'm not going to talk to you tell you dad what names are because there's a bunch of them but there's a lot of people that with 30 million subscribers 20 or 10 million and try to be part of that legacy Mm -hmm. to show people that there is a there is talent in New England Mm -hmm. and I I just wish people can do that but Everyone in the internet are just giving me so much stuff. And I think the more comments that are bad comments, the more it grows. And the more you start making comments that you have no one to blame but yourself. And when people are still rambling more after more comments to me and I keep arguing more to other people, it just gets me more anxious to try to push the limit. Because Mm -hmm. like I said before, I'm not going to stop arguing with more other people because I'm not I told people I'm not gonna stay in the state of Maine twenty four seven doing nothing but collecting bottles and caps. I've I've done that. I've walked around, I've walked two miles, three miles from one place to another. I'm trying to travel more than other. If I wanna go to Europe, I wanna go to Europe. If I wanna go to uh somewhere else it's yes, gonna be like I love thinking about oh, going to like all the world. Jason. I always like thinking about going to Barcelona or or Tokyo once in a while, or even a little bit of Australia, just to yeah. see kangaroos for the heck of it. Yeah. But, yes, but, right. but oh, I'm right. just that type of travel person that wants to be there in those areas and in conventions and other places to get the center of attention. Now, could you start locally and maybe, I don't know if you guys like travel. You want to travel. I want to travel, but with my father in arthritis, and yeah. even though I can yeah. drive a car, but it's hard for me to say if I can give him a note and mm-hmm. – also, my phone right here is already dead and crap and junk, so I can't call him. Mm-hmm. So it's really a problem. Mm-hmm. Like my phone's been dead for several months, and I have nothing else to do, so it's hard for me to call him no. to travel. Right, exactly. Like um, There is other locations and other places I would have done that's like 30 or 40 miles away from here. Right, there's some local but, places that are not Tokyo but are still super cool. Yeah, yeah and enough no. to get attention. But like I said, like, it's hard for me, my dad, taking care of the house or something. And that's that's just painful for me, for me to do, actually. Maybe in the summer and stuff, you could go on some road trips. Yeah. Go a little further afield. Yeah. You, you I also am still so interested in further education for you. Have you thought about that? Because I know you did co- a little college, and have you thought about some? You think about U of A. Yeah. So. Or even Bates College is a communications so program. Plan is so the time of year, like right now, is when people sign up for spring classes. So. I, I think the University of Maine, maybe, I know. That's what he wants to do with spring classes. I want to sign up right now. Spring okay. classes. Yeah. So you, I'm 25 years old and I'm yep. tired. I don't want to go graduating when I'm in 30. Yeah. I'm just tired of seeing a bunch of young people entering a NASCAR in their 20s or in their teens and they're so, racing early in my career. I'm tired of people no. near and that doing this or that right. and I'm older than them. You're feeling frustrated. I'm just tired of, kind of sitting at home. We, so, yeah. See, we have all the equipment. I, my father, the, the the house downstairs, twelve foot ceilings. My father was tractors. He has welders. Uh, you know, he has tools to build roll cage. I built roll cage. I raised an oxen. Wow, that's so cool. I was a race, stock car racer. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know my that. mother, she thought I was just in a pit crew. Yeah. But I was, I was driving. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
Make sure just close out. I'm trying to figure yeah. out what I can practically do today. I don't. We're not doing medication or anything. No. I think it's like kind of a no. question of checking in with you and seeing if there's a way to support you. And I've given you guys numbers for case managers a bunch of times, and yeah. it's never really worked out to call them. So I think I'm just not. I'm mean, going to give them one more time. But I called once to one yeah. person, but uh, I think they it's, they didn't have any room. It was well, full. Yeah, and I think it's been hard. To, it was hard for people to get back in touch with you guys. Yeah. So I don't. But they, so, they're opening up. Sometimes they do, like you said, they open up. You know, so do you, how would you pay for the University of Maine? He gets grants. Okay. And he gets some money from, uh, I give, all my money goes to him. My social security, everything goes to him. And were you in the military? I forget. Yes. You were. So are you, you're a veteran. But, a long time ago. So, but you should possibly get benefits then. Could I? Do, I never thought that. I don't. No, if you were in active. My father was in Tokus. Were you in active military duty? I was a couple of months. ROTC or no. Okay, so probably ROTC itself wouldn't count. I don't know. But community college these days is free for a lot of people. Yeah. You might be a little bit old because they have some, they had a window of time, but it might be possible. So I would suggest you start with community college because that also transfers to UMO. Right. It does. Right. But the community college, they, the case manager he had thought he was, it was a joke. Oh, I would start with community college. I think that's a great way to, to start because that's, you, that's, that's, how, local, David, that's right? how David's son. You could get there with like CMMC is pretty close to you, right? I think. CMC. You don't seem very excited about it at all. SMC, Southern Maine. Very good. It's very good. Excellent. It's very good. And let's go, you know, and he, he liked it. He went, he took course yeah. online. He liked it on Zoom, right? Would you want to do that again? Believe me, like waking up on bed, going on computer, it's like so tiring for me to just go on Zoom, sitting on my chair twenty four seven. Would you I, rather actually go in person? I, that's why I want to do. Yeah, no, I yeah. think that's a better idea. Yeah, I, I, think, think, I, I agree think, with you. He's tired. He wants yeah. to get out. Could you drive to SMCC, or is that too far away? That's I just, pretty far away. It's, it, it's, it's still far for him. I mean, I'm trying to think about how to get you back into it in a practical way. Because if you wanted to go to the University of Maine, you have to sign up right now, literally, because they're signing up for classes right now. And I don't know, like, I don't know mid-year if you could get into a dorm and you'd have to apply for financial aid and you'd have to do a lot of stuff. So we went to Augusta. We talked to somebody. When? That's too much. Too much. But and they, they helped them, but when? a couple of years ago. Yeah, so again, I think kind of talking with your, starting local and just getting your foot in the door and going from there is the way to go. Um, and well, it was one person, I guess. So yeah. SMCC or DMCC, either way, I mean, I, my son took a class at SMCC, and I think it's a really good way to go. It gives you a good start. Um, so... I would say reach out. To Even Bates College, we went there, communications, they have a radio station, and they want him to run it. They were talking about him. DJ. Is this a while ago, or this is recent? Before COVID. Okay, I'm talking, I'm interested in stuff since the summer. But we have yes. um, So, there is a program called TRIO, and there's also, every college has a student support service. Jason, that would be good. Um. So would you like me to look up contact information for you? I can give you phone yeah. numbers. Trio is a little, I have mixed feelings about Trio. I always recommended it to people, but. It didn't work out. Well, I think it's okay. It can be okay. And you have to apply to it. It's a little bit of a thing. You have to apply online and you have to apply in person. The student support service, you literally just call them up. So watch, this is, let's do this. Let's just see what we find. Contact person is good. Yeah. So I know the contact person at SMCC is quite good. I think her name is Glesma or something. Yeah, Glesma. Yeah, I remember. Did you talk with her? Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, so I don't know if she's still there, but it was I mean, going good with Jason. Did you take a class at SMCC? Yeah, you did. SMCC. Yes. Oh yeah, a couple, a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, would you it, want to start it, with that? I mean, it, it might. You took like uh, twelve credits one time. You have to take twelve yeah, credits to, to get. be a full time student, right? Or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. That was that was good. But David was in the way. You no, know, he yeah. he was at home and he was 
he's gone now. And the judge told us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he can't stay away from him. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would love for you to start taking some courses again. I just think that would be, uh, and I realize it's not a short-term solution to your interest in travel and stuff, but it's the more skills and knowledge you have, the better you exactly. are to be able to do stuff like that, get a good job, do all that stuff. Exactly. Because he wants to work. Yeah. Although he, 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 you know, he has to take an hour a day to focus uh, because he is autistic. You know, the syndrome, he yeah. has that. And he goes, he he talks to sleep. He doesn't sleep at night, but he, he's always, his mind is always busy. Yeah. I think a course would be good for him. So there's the TRIO Student Support Services. So if you're a first-generation college student or you have a disability, you, yeah. know, you can qualify for a trio. Sure. Yeah. Who, who would you talk to? Contact person. Um, so I got the right one. You can put that SIC to me. I will give you their contact information. So I'm giving you all this stuff. I'm giving you the primary care, your Dr. Alila's number to see if you could get into the senior. I'm giving you case management agency. I'm giving you information about the college's um, student support. I think they call it SAS, student, it's like student support or student assistance services. Um, and then I think the first thing would be to talk to them and say, I want to apply. I have this, you know, I want to take a course or two or whatever you want to do. Um, so there's SICC, okay, phone, email. It's, it's a small step, but you could do that and just see what, what they say. Sure, sure, And sure. then I'm trying to find that student, there's a student accessibility office. Gotcha. So resources, adult we, students. We visited the campus at Ono mm -hmm. uh, a year, about a year, was it about a year? A long time. Oh, yeah. That was, they have a special teaching for adaptive services in Ono. So this is what SMCC says. They have Disability Services Office. I don't think I can turn it sorry, back if sorry, you see sorry. it. But um, it's going to hang from the head it's if right. I try. I'm but Jason, you might be able to see it. So they said that if you have a disability, mm -hmm. the staff will meet with you and provide individual attention. That would be good. They'll do a comprehensive intake interview, review documentation. So you might need paperwork. like. Yeah. From me or the high school. Yeah. Um, understand challenges you face. Work out a plan to help you with your challenges and success. Or you took the like, accolades that you passed. Yeah. So see, this is great. You have a history, so you and would be and, a returning and, and student. The level, the level of uh, the, the the test is harder at SMCC. He passed. Yeah, I think it would be. I think starting back there, and it might be online. They do a lot of online stuff. Now, but at least it, I know it's not ideal, but at least it would get you. Took, you took the test in uh, SCMCC, yeah. well, you passed the, the harder one. I mean, I think you're in a place now, you're starting to get kind of itchy because you've been home for so long and you're yeah. sort of wanting to do some of this stuff, Jason. And I think it's a really good time. You're not encumbered with David at the moment, so that's good. Yeah, that, 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then is it worth looking up to the MMC, or are you sure you don't want to do that? Why would I go back to CMCC? Were you there as well as a student? Yeah, we were there to, since 2019. You went to Southern Maine in Lewiston. There's a, there's a school there. It's, it's oh, they have a Lewiston campus. Yeah, right. Southern Maine does? Yeah. Right, you guys no, are no, 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 no. Yeah. No, they, they, they don't. They don't. They don't. Where did you go? We, we were there in 2017 and 2018, but they never did. Oh, they were going to. The, they they have one in Portland or somewhere, but that they, 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 they used to have one in Auburn. Uh, no, that's the no 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 that that's the Auburn one no, that's the Central Main one no. They also have trio. Oh yeah, <laughs> the trio never helped me once there. So were you in it before? Yeah, they didn't they didn't help no. At CMMC or SM? What well, at, at CMCC mostly. Okay. So you know you you can figure out how to contact these different places, but I think it's a reasonable, you know I think it's a fair time to be looking into stuff like this. 
I'm thinking about some little, like if you were going to go travel, what would you want to see? What kind of stuff? Do you want to see outdoor places? Do you want to see cities? Do you want to see races? Like <laughs> conventions? Like why, what would you be looking for? Oh, those are good places mostly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, like conventions and then the, uh, the, uh, what the other thing you said, races you said, yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Base calls has a communication program. Mm -hmm. Be perfect game. Mm -hmm. You could look at base as well. You could try calling them. And uh, they have a radio station that they don't do much with. You went in. I was right after COVID. Mm -hmm. and they cut. It stopped. You know, everybody stopped. All right. But so I it, wanted to ask a quick question. Um, I think looking into all these local places is yeah. great. Um, so I've given you the phone numbers, and you guys you guys are smart. You can look it all up. I've given you case management yeah. names. Yeah. I've been kind of checking in with you, but we're not really doing any active medical management. I do feel like you – oh, I was going to give you dentists. Let me look at dentists. Um, no okay. problem. We know this. Do, do you have a dentist that you know? Well, we, I'm different than what he has. He has to go – I, I'm 60. I'm, I'm 65, so I have Anthem and the other pay for it, main care. But him is is uh, they don't pay because I don't know why. Well, yeah, he does have you do have main care. Yeah, we just don't know where to go. Yeah. yeah. In Lewis Marvin. I know there's places. Yeah, and I don't. My problem is I don't know. There's one right near Walmart. There's a there's where, 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 where